world's second largest freshwater lake has burst its shores again. This is the second time that the water levels on Lake Victoria have risen above the shoreline over the past year. Hundreds of thousands of people are displaced and at least a hundred have been killed since the flooding began. In Uganda, the rising waters of Lake Victoria are destroying its coastal towns. The very lake that millions of people depend on for food and water has now become a threat to their way of life. Right where we are, you can see that there's a lot of development, urbanization, a lot of uh, iron sheets roofed, uh, like tarmac roads, and also people tend to clear vegetation in the nearby catchment areas of Lake Victoria. So this is the one where they are working. Lawrence Aribo is one of the leading meteorological experts in the country, studying climate change here for the last 25 years. Once vegetation is not there and it rains, you see that water runoff flows with a lot of sand siltation. These ones prevent the natural infiltration of water into the soils and causes runoff. So what will that mean? It means the water levels could easily rise. And once it rises, these people will further be displaced from here. Their businesses will be affected. Diseases associated with the water will be there. So it will not be easy for people. Josephine Nakintu knows this all too well. Josephine lives in the village of Gaba, where she sells tea, donuts, and fish. Once the villages are flooded, there's no going back. Today, Josephine takes Lawrence to the worst affected areas of her old village. In Uganda alone, the fishing industry employs up to one million people. Those are jobs that could be lost to climate change. Lake Victoria supports the economy in many ways. The fish we get from the lake, some is exported, and that earns money to the country. Lake Victoria also generates electricity. The lake provides water for the industries and even for domestic use. So if climate change, heavy rains, 
come and block the lake or the channels of movement. It becomes a problem. And fish breeds along the shores. And once flooding continues and people continue destroying, they are destroying the breeding places of the fish. And that will be a very big problem. The Ugandan government has asked people to settle at least 200 meters away from the lake shores and to stop farming on the steep slopes to reduce erosion. But this fix will be, at best, temporary. Now, the problem hmm. here is this place is low, eh? very low. And when the rains are hmm. heavy, the water will still come back. Eh? So the best thing would be hmm. for people not to, to stay in this low area. Hmm. At least they move to a raised okay. ground where the mm. floods cannot mm. come back. Because now here is very dangerous. The diseases, eh? cholera, dysentery, mm. and for children, mm. it is not good. Yeah, we just pray that mm. things will be okay.